dear students today we are going to discuss very important aspect of thermodynamics entropy change and clashes in equality the entropy change or the entropy which is a state function which is the outcome of the carnot cycle the carnot theorem was proposed by s carnot uh, from the concept of this this is the source this is the sink yes this is the engine right so part of the heat absorbed from the source by the engine is only converted into the work that's how the efficiency efficiency of a machine can be explained in this manner fraction of the heat supply is converted only to the work form so as we know that any machine which cannot have the 100 percent efficiency that we are now going to discuss from this carnot theorem from this carnot theorem it designed the carnot cycle carnot cycle carnot cycle here this pressure volume curve so this is the point a point b point c point d this is the curve b c d so as we see that this is the V1, V2, V3. Yes, this is the. Yes, this is the V4. Quickly, I'll write down from V1 to V2. Isothermal and reversible expansion. Delta. U say A A which is equal to what is the Q minus W this is the one you can write down this is the Q two this is the equation one since this is taking place at temperature T two similarly the second one is uh, from V two to V three, right? Adiabatic, adiabatic and reversible expansion. When adiabatic reversible expansion means temperature passed from T two to T one, where Q is equal to zero, delta U B minus W two say equation two. Third step is the compression process. That is the C V three to V four isothermal and reversible. Yes, compression. Compression from V three to V four. This takes place at T one since already temperature is at low temperature. Now see, internal energy change is this. Internal energy change since this is the Q one. This is given out to the system. This becomes the W three. This is the equation three. Now the fourth step is V four to V one. Original state is attained. By adiabatic and reversible compression, where Q is equal to zero, then delta U P is equal to yes. This is the plus W four equation four. As we know that the internal energy is a state function, delta U in a cyclic process. 
side clip process must be equal to zero. That is delta u a plus delta u b delta u c delta u d. Okay. Now in place of this, you can substitute Q2 minus W1, yes, minus W2, yes, minus Q1 plus W3 plus W4. Yes, you can write down Q2 minus Q1. W1 plus W2, you bring this direction, yes, minus W3 plus W4, W4 is equal to Q2 minus Q1. Naturally, you can write down this W net, W net is a Q2 minus Q1. You can transform this equation. Okay, I write here. W net divide into Q2 into Q1. Both side Q divide into Q2. As I defined just now, this is the efficiency. Q2, Q1, Q2. And this we can write down T2 minus T1, T2 since Q is directly proportional to the temperature. If source temperature, sink temperature both are known, we can calculate the efficiency of machine and a machine which cannot have 100% efficiency. Now, this is the the discussion with reference to the Carnot cycle. Now, from this another modification we can do Q2, Q2 minus Q1, Q2, T2, 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 T1. We modify this. This is 1 minus Q1, Q2, 1 minus T1 by T2. Therefore, what we can write? Q2 by T2, Q1 by T2. Here, since it is a cyclic process, sum of these two terms must be equal to zero. Since the, the Carnot cycle is involved, infinitesimally small steps, that is the reversible steps. So that is Q2, yes, Q by T can write down this ratio. Though this is the non, this is the path function, this is the state function, this is the path function, this is the state function, the ratio appears to be the one state function, sum of these gives the Delta S. But in this case, Carnot cycle, Carnot cycle, this is equal to zero. Therefore, in general, Q by T, that to Q reversible by T is the entropy change. This is the entropy change. A new thermodynamic state function is the outcome of the Carnot cycle. Yes, some of these gives the state function since original state is reached. So each, each step, so that is the delta S1 you can say and delta S2. This is the minus, since is the expansion, the compression is equal to zero. So that is the delta S for cyclic process is zero. Now, 
the very significance of this new thermodynamic function entropy change we will come to know later so with this now we also discuss the entropy change change in reversible and adiabatic process adiabatic process you can answer yourself from this carnot cycle what is this uh, what is its uh, entropy change that delta s is zero that is the reason why in the two steps one is the adiabatic expansion process adiabatic compression process both stages we need not consult s delta s is equal to zero since q is equal to zero there is no point in discussion with uh, reference to the adiabatic steps which are involved in this cyclic uh, uh, carnot cycle okay now what important thing we will discuss is entropy change in isolated system isolated system first we consider say a isothermal and reversible isothermal reversible system so any isolated system a system is associated with the surroundings delta s yes, delta s yes, system delta s yes, surroundings is a delta is say isolated system isolated system say during expansion delta s system say system plus q reversal by t it is taking gas temperature this surroundings what happens surroundings it loses the same quantity thereby delta s isolated system system involving reversible process is zero since q reversible by t plus this is the q reversible by t so that becomes zero there is no change in entropy of an isolated system now we will see the second aspect b second aspect so if it is the isothermal irreversible irreversible in this case again delta s isolated system system what we can write is that delta s system plus delta s surrounding first of all we will consider extreme extreme case of irreversible irreversible step like free expansion free ex expansion of a gas into vacuum say from v1 to say v2 now in this case delta s system delta s system say positive 
since there is a change and uh, moreover the state function we want to be to one state to the another state it reaches a state function from v2 to v1 whatever the manner we conduct original state is reached delta s is zero taking into that into consideration delta s system is positive persistent and delta s surroundings is zero since there is no amount of heat lost by the surroundings now one important thing we have to see that in the isothermal irreversible step this may be p anyway between p external this is the vacuum completely if external pressure is zero it is freely expanding to vacuum this it is in between p external zero and p external yes in between this p external may be one atmosphere whatever this in between zero and p, p external naturally the delta s system again from v1 to v2 is positive and delta s surroundings yes i said zero to this value now that is the q irreversible by t but this is not entropy term entropy term we have to define only in terms of the q reversible by t only for it of this differential quantity q irreversible by t so this is the entropy change is only q reversible by t but this is not the entropy change now what we can say that delta s isolated system isolated system yes this is the delta s for system this is the yes q river irreversible irreversible by delta s means here system delta s will say reversibility this is always greater than q irreversible by t since q reversible is always greater than q irreversible we try to understand here thereby yes for the a differential quantity or the finite quantity d s per system is always greater than this and equal to q irreversible by t since it is anyway anywhere between 0 and p x null yes that is uh, this is since q reversible is greater than q reversible this is greater than greater than or equal to q reversible by t this uh, yes inequality is called clashes inequality clashes in therefore for any isolated system involving irreversible process yes always positive since this is greater than this if in the case of reversibility this we are considering the q reversible only this also q reversible so that is heat gained by the system q reversible heat lost by the surroundings q reversible thereby both are equality that becomes zero 
in the case of reversible process. But if irreversibility is involved, Clash's inequality prevails. Thereby, an isolated system, yes, this is greater than this, thereby, always delta S is uh, positive. This is a very important thing, and we can extend the irreversible processes which are occurring in the nature. All natural occurring processes are irreversible in nature. So, the all irreversible processes are spontaneous in nature. They occur on their own. Then, the criterion for entropy, we have to consider system and surroundings. And system and surroundings, delta S, system and surroundings is zero, that is the equilibrium. Delta S is positive, that is spontaneous, where both we have to both we have considered system and surrounding we have, we have considered from the clashes inequality we came to know that this is the first and delta s is negative this is a non spontaneous so that is the criterion for spontaneity from the thermodynamic point of view here the thermodynamic sense the entropy point of view the three conclusions we can make if delta s means System and surrounding both we need to consider. So then it is zero. If delta is positive, system and surroundings that is spontaneous. All natural processes which are occurring in the nature, since uh, this nature, this the uh, uh, yes universe is considered to be an isolated system. In this isolated system, yes, they occur on their own. All the processes which are occur on their own, so they are spontaneous in nature. The criterion for spontaneity, we need to consider system and surroundings. That's how the clashes inequality helps us to understand the, the increasing of entropy for all natural spontaneous processes. So this really helps us to make a very generalized statement of the second law of thermodynamics. The entropy of the universe always increases and tends to maximum. So this uh, can be made keeping in view of the, the entropy change in the system and surroundings and the clashes inequality. Thus, thus the clashes inequality helps us to make a very concluding statement of the second law of thermodynamics. First law says that law of energy of the, uh, sorry, sorry, the energy of the universe is conserved, a constant. Now the second law, we can make very concise statement as the entropy of the universe always increases and tends to maximum, keeping in view of the, the natural process. The second law pertains to the natural process. Yes, and spontaneous process. Thank you.